Hello friends and welcome, it's Sarah Liz and I am super excited. I ordered a grab bag from Waffle Flower and it's here already. I ordered this maybe Tuesday and it showed up Friday. Today is Saturday, November 25th. It's Small Business Saturday. Um, I thought I would do an unboxing with you. This is the Want It All bundle and show you what I got. All right, so I thought we would take a look at the paper first. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 paper packs in here. These are beautiful. Okay, friends, I cheated a little bit. I tried to film this and just unwrap everything as I was showing you and it, <laughs> there was so much plastic and stickers um, and I just felt like it was gonna take forever. So I've removed a bunch of the packaging, um, but let me show you what I got. There are four grab bags that I got sort of in the Want It All bundle. What I got is not necessarily what you're gonna get. You have to keep that in mind when you buy a grab bag. Um, but I do think an unboxing like this gives you a really good idea of the kinds of products that you might get. For the paper bundle, you can get just the paper grab bag for about $25. I got 10, 10 uh, paper pads. These are five and a half by eight and a half inches. They're 80 pound cardstock. There's 36 sheets. And actually, these are really cool. I have not purchased the, these before. Um, this one, actually, I think I'm getting whole sheets. A lot of these, it's like half one design and half the other, but these are beautiful. On the front, it looks really busy, but the individual pages in this one are absolutely stunning. The designs do repeat at some point. I haven't seen it start to repeat yet. Yeah, right here. So um, you get two, maybe three of each. I love this. Love, love, love a rainbow pattern. Okay, so that one is called JJ's Rainbows. All right, this one is called Special Delivery and there are like two card fronts here and then that repeats. Oh, there's three of them. Oh. I love these. This is more like my style in terms of color. So there's a couple of those. Then we have some like mail print in a couple of colors. I love that for a fun background. That's super cute. Again, these are eight and a half by five and a half. So you get two full card fronts um, from one sheet. And then we've got the clouds in a lighter color, some florals. I think I missed one. Yeah, florals in a different color, um, some birds in the sky, and then a different colorway. These are fun. I like this and like cutting those out and adding those onto a project. You can make some really quick and easy cards with this one. All right, I have two of these that are the half, half dots. This one is the botanicals. And you get sort of two A2 panels, and these are reverse of each other, right? So white dots on peach, peach dots on white. And there's, I think, three of them. Right, and then you'll just move on to like a new colorway. And then the peaches are not my favorite. You guys, if you like peach, I wanna know about it and what do you pair with that? So then we've got some pinks and some purples and some blues. These are really lovely. It's just a subtle background, right? When I don't wanna have to like drag out a background stamp or an embossing folder or something, I could grab one of these and I love a polka dot. We're going clear through the rainbow and there's sort of pastel -y muted tones. And then these are more like your jewel tones, right? Um, and they're gonna be the same sorts of patterns. So there's gonna be one that's like white dots on colored and then there's this like tone on tone for each of those. I think this is more kind of what I love, these bold, bright colors. I got three pads that are the lines half and half patterns. So I have unicorn pastels, again, those bright, bold colors, and then the botanicals. And so I'm just gonna open maybe one of these and show you, I got stickers still, show you what this looks like. So you get these sort of, um, horizontal stripes or vertical, I guess, if you're doing a, a landscape card. And then this is just solid pink, right? But you could die cut from that. This is pretty heavy. Then after three of those, you're moving on to like tone on tone with diagonal stripes. That's so kind of hard to see, but it's really pretty. It's really pretty. I will use these. Um, I don't do a ton of like bold pattern paper. I do more like subtle pattern paper or I make my own background. So I like this as an option where it's not like the pattern paper is competing with whatever else I wanted to do 
on that card. Then we have Christmas stripes. This is a unique one. And like on the front, again, it looks kind of busy and I'm not sure I like that. But then when I open it up, right, you don't get all of it all at once. And that works well for me. There's some really great classic Christmas colors, but then I like mixing them all together. I think that's really pretty. Um, you can get two full card fronts from these. And I love the diagonal here. This is Happy Little Gnomes. Whoop, we're upside down. And so we get some gnomes and a bunch of different colorways, some mushrooms, some little <laughs> bunnies and mushrooms. That's beautiful, right? Uh, I will definitely use that one. I have a bunch of dyes with like little critters, squirrels and things like that. That'd be a lovely background for it or for this one. Totally dig it. Um, a little mushroom house pattern like on the roof. Totally awesome. And then like a hunter green with white dots some stripes. So we've got some that are sort of theme specific, but then like this is beautiful, right? Sort of a jagged tone on tone muted blue. And then we're starting over. All right. And then we've got the modern neutrals. And these are just black and white and gray tones. I like how this one sort of fades out to that white corner. Um, very muted. I'm pleased that this is picking up on camera because it's really subtle. I like that a bunch of these can read sort of masculine as well um, because my <laughs> my husband once said to me, he thinks that patterns, just patterns in general, are not masculine. But so I'm trying to train him. I love that, the sort of optical illusion of that. And then we've got a sort of honeycomb and then these sun rays. I can use that on all kinds of stuff. Um, I love this, almost like a bokeh in the background and then some like marble tile look and stuff and then some more marbly business um, and then like a wavy dotted print this is lovely right i you know i've looked at their paper before but i think from the front cover it's kind of hard um to to get a sense of it because a lot of times these patterns are competing with each other uh, this is phenomenal. I will use every single one of these paper pads. All right, so this is the stamp and die combo grab bag. The other ones are $24.99 and I think this one is $49.99. But I can tell just from the size of, of the um, packages that there's a lot more in here. They're all in these like stitchable cards um, project kits, but there's, there's no stitching here. I don't stitch. Okay, so this is absolutely adorable. It's the X Big Bear and Bird, and there's a little cheese plate, and then a mug with like a peppermint stick, um, our little mouse, and you can put holiday cheer or Merry Christmas or hello or whatever in his sign. And I like that some of them are not holiday, so you can sort of extend this if you want, and then there's dies to go with it. This one is Cosmos, and those are really beautiful florals. It wouldn't take much to use, like my Distress Inks, and do a quick watercolor on that. And then I have the matching dies that come already cut apart and on a magnetic sheet. This is Happy Gnomes. I think this coordinates with that paper pad, right? And again, this one has a magnet in it. So I love that this is really great for beginners if you're not real great at cutting dies apart um, or you're still struggling to figure out how you want to store things. Um, I love that. This is really beautiful. I like this one, I think, the best. And then some of this greenery. It is called Small Bouquet. Again, with dies on a magnetic sheet. And then coffee shop hamsters. So we have a bunch of little hamsters and a bunch of little like coffee shop items. Um, I did cut this one open just to kind of show you. So this came in, there's like a little flap down here. I just cut the top right off of that because I keep them in their packaging if I can. Sometimes they break and then I need different packaging, but it's got dies for all of the big and little things in there on this magnetic sheet. I love that this folds over and it's pretty easy to tuck everything back into its packaging. And then I just take my stamp set and I add it in the same one so that they are together and I don't lose them. These are really cute. You guys know I am a die cutter first. And so I think I'll use this one. I might use this one. I don't know that I'll use the gnomes. This one is beautiful. Actually, and this one is beautiful. I think I just have one of the five 
sets that I'm, I probably won't use. So every time you get a grab bag, it's a gamble. Again, there's no guarantee that you will get what I got, but I think, I think I got pretty good value here. Next up, I got um, some Just Stamps. There is a bundle for $24.99, our grab bag that is Just Stamps. And so I have, let me grab a piece of cardstock. Whoop. Okay, so this is the Bouquet Builder 2. And this is beautiful, right? It doesn't have dies, but that's okay. I am picturing like maybe using some of those subtle prints um, from the pattern paper as an A2 layer and then cutting down a, a, like a white layer that's maybe a half inch, maybe an inch smaller, get it, crop it in a whole bunch, get a nice border around the outside, stamp one of these or going around the edge of my card with like, this one is just, it's so stunning. And then these, I love those sentiments. Waffle Flower does sentiments beautifully. This one is power lines. So you have like your little posts and your power lines and your birds and then a bunch of really tiny sentiments. These are gonna be perfect if I wanna like stamp and heat emboss an emergency sentiment, right? Instead of having to print it out and then wait for my laminator to heat up and all of that. I think that's beautiful. This one is fruity cake. Um, so these look like mice. These are maybe bears. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but it builds a cake. Um, again, this isn't really my style, right? So I might not use that one, but that's okay, right? That's that's how it goes with a grab bag. This one is called Retro Hugs, and I love the sort of squishy font of that. So you have hugs, hugs inside, paper hugs, miss your hugs, uh, hugs and kisses, a great sentiment set, and then like a little face for you. So I dig that. And then this one is Cheer Up Sentiments. Thank you for your support. You got this. Cheer up. Got spirit. Bring it on. Always got your back. Cheers on your birthday. Uh, make some noise. Squad goals. Get your game on. So some of these are specific to maybe sports ball, uh, but a bunch of them aren't. And I think Waffle Flower does a good job pairing scripty fonts with blocky fonts. So I will definitely use this. So I got five stamp sets, full stamp sets, right? There's one I don't think I will use, but my kids might use that. Uh, for $24.99. Again, I think I got good value and things that, that I like. All right, and then my last grab bag is Just Dyes. This one you can get individually for $24.99. Your, your contents might not be the same. Um, so we have the Shaker Heart Die, and it is a pair of hearts. So you can easily turn that into a shaker. You can add the With Love or not, or you can just use those little hearts as confetti and then some chevrons. That's cute. That's cute and have Valentine's Day is like coming up. So yeah, I'll probably use that. This is the rainbow panel die. And then I already cut the top off of this one. Not all of these, oh, apparently I cut the whole thing. <laughs> Not all of these um, have magnets, which was sort of surprising to me. So I wanted to show you that. But this one has a frame on the outside and then these little sort of stripes that it cuts, but it contours right around that biggest cloud. This one um, is, is maybe for a sentiment strip. I think, I think it's three eighths of an inch and I can't tell you how excited I am about that. When I do my emergency strip sentiments, I put them on a three eighth inch stripe and then I just keep this little tub of them let me see that's it that's it sometimes when I'm feeling fancy I want that beveled edge that comes from a die so that's a win I have been looking for a stripe that size then this one is the ring panel die and it's really beautiful it's full a2 there's some nice stitching around the outside and then these intertwining rings this again doesn't have a magnet but I don't think you need it for something like that this one is the love letter outline die. And so you could do some really beautiful paper piecing and then maybe little bits of like some specialty cardstock and some of those um, florals or the leaves. That would be stunning. And then this is the special delivery die. And I, I'm not sure what this is. Um, I wonder if this is supposed to be like to hold a bouquet and you like fold it over. That's probably what that is. I don't have waffle flower florals that to put in there, but I have tons of other florals, especially from Spellbinders. So I might use that. 
There's a little coffee cup, um, a vase, a tiny tag. I <laughs> kind of love the tiny tag. And then a little oval as well that maybe you could put on the front of the vase or the coffee. That's cute. So I got four, four big die sets and a small one uh, for my $24.99. And the paper piecing one I'll probably use the least. It's just a lot of work. But I, I do think that it's beautiful. Um, and so maybe I'll use it. The other four, I think I'll use a fair bit. So again, I think I got a pretty good deal. The one at all bundle, again, as of this morning was still available at, I think it's $120, but you get free shipping. Um, they are not the only ones with grab bags right now. Trinity Stamps has a grab bag and I adore Trinity. I have more of their products than any other brand except Spellbinders. Um, and so I didn't buy their grab bag because I would inevitably get doubles, but there's an embellishment one. And then there's one for like stamps, dies and stencils. So I will link to that below along with the waffle flower grab bags. Hero Arts has one for $30. I got theirs last year and they were jam packed. Um, I mean, for 30 bucks. And then I got one last year from Scrappy Tails. They still had grab bags this morning. They start at $35 and then there's like higher tiers of them as well. That was one of the most generous grab bags I have ever, ever purchased. Theirs and maybe Spellbinders. I got one from Spellbinders two years ago that just knocked my socks off. So if you are kind of new and you don't have a lot of supplies and are looking to build up your stash, grab bags can be a great option. Um, or maybe it's just a company that's newer to you. Definitely worth checking out. I will also link below to my video for Black Friday sales. I'm keeping that updated every day. There's some really great deals in there. It is Small Business Saturday, so it's a great day to support those small businesses, to support my small business. If this is helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you like content like this and use my affiliate links if you think you're gonna do some shopping. If you do, the store pays me a small commission from that sale and that helps me to purchase products to put into videos to bring more crafty inspiration to you. So thank you so much for spending your time with me and I will see you next time.